In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fast and responsive YouTube feed like this for your WordPress website for absolutely free. Let's get started. Here I am on my WordPress dashboard and to create our YouTube feed, we'll first have to install the plugin. Head over to plugins on the left hand side and click on add new plugin. And inside the search bar on the right hand side, we can search for the feeds for YouTube plugin. And the one we're looking for is this one here by Smashboard. Click install. And once that's done, click activate. And there we go, feeds for YouTube has now been installed and activated. So we can begin creating our YouTube feed. On the left hand side, you'll notice YouTube feed. Go ahead and click on that. And to get started, just click on add new at the top. With the Smash Balloon Feeds for YouTube plugin, you can create a feed of videos from any YouTube channel. But if you upgrade to the pro version, YouTube Feed Pro, you can display videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that match any specific search term, YouTube live streams, and single videos. But since this is the free version of the plugin, we're going to go with the channel feed type, and that's already selected for us, so we can click next. You'll then get this pop-up here asking you to enter a YouTube API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen, or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, click Add API Key, and paste it here like this. After that, click Add. This brings us to the next step of creating our YouTube feed, connecting your YouTube account. You have three easy ways to do this. You can enter your channel handle, channel ID, or channel username. For this example, let's display the YouTube videos by MKBHD. To do that, we can enter his YouTube handle over here, at MKBHD, like so, and click Next. And instantly, you'll get a live preview of your new YouTube feed inside the plugin. Our YouTube feed is displaying the latest videos by MKBHD. The feed is also ready to be embedded inside our WordPress webpage, but before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Feed Layout. Inside this menu, you'll find options to modify the layout of your YouTube feed. Currently, we have the Grid Layout selected, which displays your YouTube videos in rows and columns. Next, we have the Gallery Layout, and this one highlights your latest video in a large thumbnail, with the rest of the videos in a grid layout underneath. After that, we have the List Layout, and this one displays your YouTube videos in a single column list. For this video, let's go with the Gallery Layout, and if you look below, you can choose how many columns you want inside your Instagram feed on desktop and mobile. As you can see from the preview, we have three columns inside our Instagram feed. If you want to modify that, just enter the number of columns you want to display. For example, let's go with four columns. Just type in four, and you'll instantly see that change made inside your live preview. We now have four columns of videos inside our feed. I'm going to change that back to three. Next, you can also choose how many videos you want to display inside the feed initially. At the moment, we're displaying nine videos, but once again, to modify that, just enter the number of videos you want to display. For example, let's go with 12. And once again, instantly, that change has been made inside our live preview. We're now displaying 12 videos instead of 9. And if you're happy with the layout of your YouTube feed, click Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your YouTube feed, under the Customize tab, go into Color Scheme. At the moment, you can see that it's set to Inherit from Theme. This means that your YouTube feed will match the design of your WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact color you want for your Instagram feed, just like this. And once you're happy with the color scheme for your YouTube feed, click Save on the top right corner. Next, if you wanted to add a header at the top of your YouTube feed, go to the Customize tab and click on Header. And if we enable it, you'll see this header pop up here with your YouTube profile picture, channel name, and the channel bio as well. This is with the standard header style, but if you wanted something more customizable, go with the text header style, and this one comes with a simple text header you can modify down below. You can enter anything you'd like, such as our latest videos. But for this demonstration, I'm going to stick with the standard header style, and if you're happy with the changes, click Save on the top right corner. And now that you know how to customize your YouTube feed, let me show you how we can embed it inside your WordPress web page. To do that, click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, then click Add. And here we are on our WordPress web page, and to embed your YouTube feed, just go ahead and add a shortcode block, and paste the shortcode that we copied earlier like this. Once that's done, let's check it out on our live WordPress web page. And here we are now on our live WordPress web page, and we have our brand new YouTube feed featuring the latest videos from the MKBHD YouTube channel. Since we chose the gallery layout, you can see the latest video in a larger thumbnail at the top, followed by the rest of the videos in a grid layout underneath. And if a site visitor wants to watch any of these videos, they can click on it like this, and that video will start playing automatically directly on your WordPress web page. Next, if you scroll down to the bottom of your feed, you'll find a button that says Load More. If we click on that, that will load additional videos inside your YouTube feed directly on your WordPress website. And beside that button, we also have a subscribe button. If site visitors click on that, that will take them directly to your YouTube channel, which makes it super easy for your site visitors to subscribe to you. And there you have it. That's how we can create an embedded YouTube feed like this on your WordPress website for absolutely free. But if you want to take your YouTube feed to the next level, you should check out YouTube Feed Pro. With YouTube Feed Pro, you can create fast and responsive YouTube feeds but with a lot more features. With the pro version of the plugin, you get access to additional layout options like the carousel that allows site visitors to engage with your YouTube feed and swipe through the videos like this. 
You also get additional customization options and access to filters, so that you have complete control over the videos you display inside your YouTube feed. These are only some of the amazing features that come with YouTube Feed Pro. If you want to check it out, visit smashballoon.com. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you experience any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.